Yo, what's going on guys? Evan Tanaka here, back with another video. Today's video guys, we're going to be going over what I think you guys should do first in the new season, season 2, in NBA 2K22, my team. I'll be giving all my opinions and ideas of what I think you guys should go for first. And yeah, so guys, if you guys are new here, we're on the road to 500 subscribers by the end of the year. We're currently around like 327. I appreciate all the support. I'm going to say this in every single video. I do appreciate all the support you guys are showing me. You guys are really helping make my dream possible. So if you guys haven't subscribed and you're new here, I would recommend you subscribe down below. We post two to three my team videos every single day. And I feel like we have some of the best no money spent content and tips and tricks videos on the, on the platform. I appreciate everyone's support. Like I said, let's get on to the video. So guys, the first thing I'm going to recommend you do is without a debate, no questions asked, 100% the new 75 NBA 75 domination. This is the first thing you should do. As soon as you get on the game, even if, even if you have zero stars, guys, if you have zero stars in current domination and all-time domination, and you're thinking, well, I got to do 33 stars in this, I got to do 33 stars in this, just to get to this, is it still worth it? It is still worth it, even if, like, before doing any other game mode, I don't care what game mode it is, this is still the most rewarding game mode they'll probably ever be in this year, and I'm going to explain why. I, I did a video going over Domination, so I'm, I'm not going to go too into detail. If you guys want to, I'll link the video down below of me going over is it worth it and going over every detail of the new Domination. But quickly, guys, I'm going to list the stats, okay? 360 tokens, 90 silver contracts, 90 gold contracts, 3 diamond coaches, three uh, sorry, 30 ruby coaches. You're going to earn MT for playing the game. And at the end, guys, you're going to get a pack with seven diamond consumable. You get a diamond shoe, a diamond contract, which are really valuable right now. And you get five shoot diamond shoe boost. So you can pull three point, you can pull steel, you can pull speed, you can pull smooth ball, all that type of stuff. And next, you get three Hall of Fame badges. Guys, three Hall of Fame badges. That could be a chef. That could be a quick first step. That could be a clamps. That could be any of these really, really good badges. Limitless spot up. You get three, not of those, but you get three chances to get one of those, but you get three Hall of Fame badges. And Hall of Fame badges are really, really important in every 2K. And guys, just to top it off, you get a free pink diamond center who's honestly not bad in the game. Like, he's a decent center. He'll make most of your guys' team. And for my team, guys, quickly, I think Porzingis is still better than him, but if I didn't have the Kemba Tembo, Porzingis starts and then he comes off the bench. Because in my opinion, he's better than Will Chamberlain, guys. I literally have Will Chamberlain, and I think he's better. I think he's my third best center on my team right now. So again, guys, and you just get that. And my team's pretty good. So domination is definitely the first thing I would recommend to do. Again, go watch the video. I'll link it down below of what um, all the details and everything. And, you know, I have a bunch of videos about domination. I recommend you go check those out. But yeah, that is the first thing to do is the new 75 NBA 75 domination. Now, guys, the next after that, you can kind of go any way. You can branch out in any different ways you want to. For me, I like playing the game online and I like playing unlimited. So for me, I, I'm kind of going more towards unlimited. So right now I'm 10 and 1. Just going to say this, guys, air coats. So I am 10 and 0. Um, just going to throw that out there. But hey, 10 and 1, whatever. All right. So me personally, I'm going down the unlimited route because I like playing unlimited. And Gary Payton is by far, Gary Payton is by far the best point guard in the game. And honestly, guys, he's really easy to get this uh, season, guys. So for every single tier, you get 16 games. So instead of having to go 4 and 8 like it was before, now you can go 4 and 12, guys. 4 and 12. Come on, guys. You can get 4 and 12 to get Sapphire, and you work your way up. And guys, in the Opal tier, it used to be 12 and 0 to get the Pink Diamond Wilton past years. It used to be 12 and 0. Guys, 12 and 4. Come on. You can go 12 and 4. Just keep retrying. The, the, the remain will be like fucking six wins. So you just got to go six and 10 to retry it. You're going to eventually get him 12 and four. You're going to get the best point guard of the game very easily. And there is a showdown tier at the end. You have to win 65 games in the showdown tier. And I will be making a video going more into detail why it's worth it to go for it. But quickly, I just want to say, guys, somebody posted a video because somebody is at that tier and somebody did get the box. And what's in it from what we can see so far is I would say around seven to eight diamond shoe boost, two Hall of Fame badges, a diamond contract, an amethyst player. And there's something else, but there's some really good stuff in that diamond box. Gives you 30 cards that are all souped up, like not player cards, but like badges and shoe boost and diamond contracts and Hall of Fame badges. So unlimited for me is the next thing I want to do. Now for you guys, I think a lot of people don't like playing online, but if you like playing online, Definitely unlimited. Gary Payne, you're going to get the showdown box. You're going to get pink diamond box. You're going to get diamond box. You're going to get amethyst box. We talked about all the good rewards last year. I'm, again, we're making more videos to come with unlimited. But basically, guys, my next thing will be number two will be unlimited. For people who like playing the offline mode, again, 
Trip with an offline, if, again, if you're an offline player, of course, go to Trip with an offline and play. But what I would recommend you try to do is play Trip with an online and try to get that Silas card. Paul Silas, he is one of the best cards in the game, in my opinion, if you badge him out. Even non badge he's still really, really good. Um, basically, you just need to give him a couple shooting badges and he'll be top tier. But if you can try to get this card, he's going to make most of your guys starting lineup, to be honest. Mo like everybody, he should be on everybody's bench. He's going on my bench and I have one of the best teams in the game. So and he's on a lot of people's bench that have the best team in the game. So yeah, I think everybody should try to go for this um, draft. You could do, but the reason why I'm not recommending draft right away is because it's George Gerving and he doesn't look that solid to me, to be honest. Um, so the third thing I'm going to go unlimited to for me personally, and then number three, I'm gonna go trip with the online. Number four, I usually would say draft, but honestly, I don't think drafts. I mean, yes, you're still gonna you're still gonna earn a lot of tokens, you're still gonna earn a lot of MT. It's still really good to do, but I think you can hold off on draft and wait till a bit later in the season. Next thing I would try to go for is triple it offline. You're gonna get a good amount of MT. You're gonna get a colossal pack and you get ten tokens, some good more MT, another October packs. You're getting promo packs. You're getting tokens. You're getting MT. There's a deluxe a reward pack. You're getting fifteen tokens. But this is where you got to try to get to. If you can get to this as fast as possible, the Series 1 Diamond Player Pack, first of all, you're going to be able to do XP with it. I think you can get 2,000 XP for um, using the player that you get from this. And you're going to pull like a LeBron, a KD, a Giannis, one of those type of players who right now sell for about 40 to 50 KMT. Once again, you're earning all this MT and all these tokens and all these packs. So what I would do is probably next thing is maybe not complete the whole thing right away. You could definitely 100% go for uh, Latrell Spirel and, you know, get some more tokens and some MT. But what I'm going to do is grind to this really fast. And then I'm just going to stop and then slowly get to Latrell Spirel. And on the way, you might get that uh, Rafe LaFrenz, who's a really, really good budget center. Like budget, I mean free, but like a really good like center for people who don't have the best teams. But yeah, try to get the Series 1 Diamond Player Pack. You're going to get rewards on the way, like I said. So I think that's really nice to do. So guys, number one. And be a 75 domination number two if you like playing online and i think you should eat anyways unless you hate playing online like if you like playing like you like you know you'll play online you want the card he's the best player in the game by far next thing is unlimited so unlimited is number two for the gary Payne. number three is this um trip with an online for paul silas he's one of the best cards badged up in the game he's a really really solid card on most will make everybody's team i think the fourth thing I'd recommend to do is trip with an offline, get to 400 and what is it, 15 wins, I think it is, 415 wins, get that Series 1 Diamond Player Pack. And then guys, the next thing, I mean, obviously limited, I would say, but it's like, you just gotta kind of do limited every week, so that's kind of just a given. Like, it's it's good to do, but I'm just saying, it's not like something I'm gonna like recommend, you gotta do this first, right? Because this is what do you do first, right guys? So, I don't think limited is the first thing you should do. Definitely get your ring though. Um, you don't have to go rain to limited. You can wait and then get it a bit later. Like I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to get it. I'm gonna get it like within the first three games probably. So we'll see. Um, so yeah, and then draft will be next at number five. Again, you're still gonna earn a good amount of MT, a good amount of tokens. And hey, George Gerving, he's usable. He'll make some of your guys' teams. He'll be a decent budget card if your team is you know not the best. But um, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Again, limited go into. Now what to do first? There's nothing really to go within the auction house. I mean, I am going to be making a separate video going over um, how I've been making some of my MT. I will give you guys a quick heads up that these gold cards are selling for a good amount of MT. The Series 1 gold cards, if you come to Series 1 over here, guys, these gold cards, I don't really have any more gold cards, but these gold cards are selling for a good amount of MT. Like, let me see, like, like let me see a, a Pain Pritchard. There's none up for, like, buyout. Bruno Fernando, 3K, right? Let's go to Juan Hermana Gomez there's none of him up josh richardson all right let's see what he's let's see what he's looking like there's none of josh richardson Frank Pritchard, we already looked at um so i don't know why i pulled him up again but like uh robert williams he might be a no he's probably gold right there's none for bio so basically guys that's something else you could do is sell those players if you get some of those but that's pretty much it guys just want to go over what i think you guys should do first in ma 2k22 my team and in which order giving you guys some like and obviously giving you my, my ideas and my, my opinions why i think you should i hope you guys did enjoy this video and i'll catch you in the next one peace